Worksheet four sections, 1.3 and 1.4. Okay, let's look at this question. What is this number in decimal form? It says in decimal form, it is equal to which one? Okay, here we multiply it with uh, a number with five zeros. And right, it means hundred thousand. So as you say, as you see, uh, if we have zeros here, we will move shift the dot to the right. One, two, three, four, five. So this dot comes up to here. So the answer will be two thousand two hundred fifteen hundred. 215,500. Which of the following is equal to this expression? So this is an exponential expression. So we have lots of products here that are multiplying with each other. So let's first do this one. So first put all the, da all the powers And okay, in this case, and you can so since they're all power, uh, all product multiplication, you can take the powers of powers by multiplying. So it's five, one times two, it makes two, two times one, two, two times negative one, negative two. So this is equal to five squared, x squared y to the negative second power. And this one, no need to put the parentheses because um, we already finished this uh, exponent. So we can write 3x cubed y squared. And now we can, by using the commutative property, we can switch, we can uh, change their places, and put them together. Then this becomes 75, and this becomes x to the fifth. Remember this, if you have multiplication, the base are same, so you can add the powers. Then y, eight to two plus two, so this makes y to the zero, which is one. So in this case, we don't have to write this one because it's already one, so it's 75 x to the fifth. Again, another, another exponential uh, expression question. If it is equal to, okay, this expression is equal to this expression, so then which of the following is equal to A plus B? So indeed, it says simplify and tap seat and then write it in this form. So we, are, we have to write it as the power of M and N. So let's try to do it. Now let's deal with the inside first. M power M to the negative first times N to the negative second divided by N squared. I separated them because this is multiplication. So this is multiplication and multiplication. So I can separate them. If uh, it's multiplication and multiplication on both numerator and denominators, and I can separate the terms. So what is this equal to? So what's the power of m? So if you don't see any power, it means one. So what is this m? One minus negative one. This one here, n, negative two, and negative, uh, negative two minus two, and then we take the negative third power. So this rule here is, uh, this. is I'm using this rule here, xa or x to the b is equal to x to the a minus b. So I use this rule in both. And then the, the next thing is, the next thing is, it makes two here, and 
and it makes this one it makes negative 4 so we have negative 3 so this is multiplication here so I can distribute them okay it will be 6 and it will be 12 no this is negative 6 and then we end up with this form here because so we got this one so obviously a is negative 6 and b is 12 so when you add them it will be 6 now which of the following is the correct form of 0 0.0066 in scientific notation In this question, we will try to write, okay, 0 0.066 as a number, a real number or a decimal number times a real number in decimal form, let's say, okay, a times 10 to the end. And here a should be a number between 1 and 10. So, okay, so, um, this type of writing is called scientific notation. And this is the important part here. Because these are all equal to 0 0.066. Like if you do the calculations, you will see they're all different writings of the same thing. So which one is which one is the scientific notation? It's obviously we want a to be between one and ten, so it has to be b because we have six point six. And uh, you can also do it this way. Like here, the choices helped us, but without the choices, you try to find the a first. Like a is what a is a can be what. It has to be, it cannot be 66, it cannot be 0 0.66, so it's a, you can get 6.6, .6. so you will move the dot up to here, so how many units you move from left to right, so how many units, three units, three digits, let's say, okay, three digits, so it will be 10 to negative three, so it's left. No, it's right. So, of course, this shifting, the dot shifting changes if you are doing this way or this way. So, you have to be careful. Okay. If you go here, shifting to the right makes it negative turn. So, if you have a negative here and writing, trying to write this, uh, you shift the dots to the left. Now, which of the following expression, algebraic expression, is a polynomial? Now, let's remember the, pol the, we, the polynomials are uh, this type of, you know, expressions. They have one variable, generally one variable in it. There is some power of x, and then there is a coefficient and some numbers uh, in front of the coefficients. Okay. These are called polynomials, but polynomials have some certain properties. One is, uh, in a polynomial, the powers of the variables or the variable should be integer. A positive integer, let's say, a positive integer, positive integer. So it cannot be negative, it cannot be rational, not negative, not a fraction. Okay. Now let's see. As the power of the variable here, x, 
is 4 over 5. So it cannot be a polynomial because in a polynomial, the powers of the variables should be positive integers. So let's look at here. So this one, it can be written as 2 over, okay, 2 times uh, 1 over x, which is 2 times x times x to the negative first. So as we see, this is a negative power of x, so it's not allowed in a polynomial. Now, when you look at here, this square root 3x is can be written as square 3 times square root of x, which is square 3x to the 1 half power. So as you see, this is half power. It is also not accepted because the power should be, the power of x should be positive integer. Now let's look at here. We have 4 here, we have 3 here, and the power of x is 1. So this square root 2, it might be here or here. It doesn't matter because, you know, uh, in the multiplication, the order is not important. So in this case, this is the polynomial. And these are called, these numbers here, pi and square root 2, these are called coefficients. And the coefficients, and also I can put here 1 here. So these are called coefficients, and coefficients are real numbers. Okay. Anyway, these are not polynomials because of the they have non-positive integers or non-integers as powers. So this is the answer is D. What is the sum of the coefficients of the polynomial? So in order to see the coefficients of a polynomial, you have to have its expanded form. Okay, there are two ways of doing it, and one way is do, to direct uh, multiplication, is directly to multiply them, you know this. And if you do it, you'll get 9x squared, 6x plus, I mean, uh, plus 6x plus 6x, and which is, okay, then we have to deal with the like terms here. It will be 12x plus 4. So these are the coefficients of the polynomial. Okay, now these are the coefficients, 9. And then it says sum of the coefficients. So the sum of the coefficients should be 9 plus uh, 12 plus 4, which makes 25. Another way of doing this, you can use uh, also, you can use a plus b squared, the special product, and you can use. Uh, special product in doing this. Write it in standard form. Okay, let's expand this one first and let's deal with the standard form later. So it's, uh, it seems we have to write this one, uh, we have to open this, I mean expand this one, then write it in some, this type of form. Okay, let's see. Uh, This one here, we can use a minus b squared formula. So remember it to say a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And uh, this is a is x and b is 1. And then if you put them here, we'll get this one as x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now the next thing is, okay, we don't have a formula for this, so we have to multiply them one by one. So this one times this. So it'll be x cubed, and then this one, either 2x squared, and this one, plus x. And now let's do it with this one, plus x squared, and either 2x, and then plus 1. So here are the like terms. So you see here this one, and uh, this one. When you add them, they will get, you will get negative x squared 
and here we have x cube coming from here. And now this plus x and minus 2x, so they're like terms, they're similar terms when you add them, you get negative x, then plus 1. So in this case, the answer is C. So what about the standard form? What the standard form? Standard form means 3, 2, 1, the powers. Okay, and in standard form, in standard form, the powers of the powers should be ascending. Uh, no, descending, sorry. So like here, three, two, one. So as you see, the powers are descending. So if they are in descending order, okay, in descending order, then it's standard form. So this is already standard form. So three, two, and there's one here, it's descending order, so it's already in standard form. So they're all of them, I mean, all of them are in standard form indeed. But the answer is, of course, C. Essay questions. Okay. Uh, let's read the question first. Simplify the following expression and write the result using positive exponents. Okay. Write the result. Result means natija. Write the result using positive exponents. So use pos uh, positive powers only. Okay. So... Uh, we will try to write it in positive exponents. Okay, there are several ways of doing this, but uh, we can deal with the inside first. Uh, since they're all product here, it's so all product, so you can separate them. If it is product, you can separate them. You can write them as the product of different fractions. Now we use, okay, this is 2 over 3. Uh, okay, you can write it as first power. This one here, you, this is a to the 3 minus 2. So I'm using this rule here. If you have the same base and a, and a fraction, so you can write it this way. So it's a minus b. B minus 3 and 0 minus 7. Okay, I'm using this rule here again. And then negative second power. So this is, okay, then we have, let me write the powers. Two, then the next thing is like we will distribute the powers here. So I'm multiplying them, so it will be two over three, the negative third power, negative second power, and a to the negative second power, b to the positive, positive two. Okay, like negative one, negative two. So it makes plus 2, c to positive 14. Now, this I can, okay, it says write them using positive exponents, so I have to write it as 1 over a squared. This is already positive, and this is already positive. So what about this part? So this part, let me deal with it here. So we know it's uh, when we have a minus... Uh, power or okay, negative power, it means 1 over 2 over 3 squared. So when you do it, it will be this one will be 2 squared, 4 divided by 3 squared. And then you flip this one. Okay, it will be 9 over 4. So this has to be 9 over 4 times 1 over a squared times b to the 14. Maybe to the 12 times b to, uh, c to the 
No, sorry, it's not 12. Okay, it's plus 2. Sorry, it's just 2 only. And uh, you can write the final answer as... Okay, if you... Okay, I don't have enough space. So I will write the answer as... 9 over 4. Okay, I can put them in one fraction because they are all multiplication here. And b squared c to the 14 divided by 4a squared. So this is the final answer. As you see, there is no negative powers. I mean, they are all positive exponents here. Let's simplify and express the answer as a single polynomial in standard form. Okay, the, for now, the, let's forget about the standard form because we have u and v, we have two variables in it. So we don't have to pay attention to the standard form. Okay, let's do this one first. So we can use here uh, the special product of a minus b squared. Okay, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now we can use this one for this part. So 3u minus 2v squared. If you want to use, you have to match them. So a, 3u, and b, 2v, and then let's put them together. 3u squared. Okay, please. Put them in parentheses all the time. It will be safer all the time. It will be 9u squared and minus 12ue plus 4v squared. Now, let's look at this one here, 2u minus 3v times 2u plus 3v. Now, you can, if you look at this, this is in this form. So, do we know the formula for that type of product? Yes, a squared minus b squared. So if you match them here, if you if you match them, A and B with these, okay, A, B, so they're all same, okay, good. And then you can write, now, uh, for question four, for each of the following polynomials, determine the degree, the leading coefficient, and the constant term, and the coefficient of x squared. Now, A, uh, in order to find the degree and the leading coefficient and constant term and the coefficient of x squared, we have to write it in standard form. So how can we write it in standard form? First, let's expand this uh, polynomial. It will be 2 minus, okay, um, we can do this multiplication, multiply these two. And we will get 10x cubed. No, it's 5x cubed. And then with negative 3, it will be uh, plus 3x squared. And now for this part, we do the multiplication. Okay, we can do it with negative 3 here. So negative 3 times x squared, negative 3x squared and negative 3 times negative 5, so it will be plus 15. Now, uh, we can add the like terms. Here we see x squared, we have negative 3x squared, so they cancel out. And uh, 2 and plus 15, it makes 17. We can write it as negative uh, 5x cubed plus 17. So now it's in standard form. Standard form means the power of x should be uh, 
you know, in decreasing order. So if you have x cubed here and there is nothing else here, so it's in standard form. <coughs> here, the degree, uh, the degree of the polynomial is, okay, degree is the highest power of x. Highest power of x in the polynomial. So here, the degree is obviously three now the the leading coefficient the leading coefficient of the polynomial is the the coefficient of the highest power so the leading coefficient is five negative five so uh the constant term, the constant term turns out to be the term without the x. So the constant term is L17. Okay, it's positive 17. Okay, no need to write the positive sign here. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, let's come to the last one. The last one is the coefficient of x squared. Now, <clears throat> you look at here, you don't see any x squared, but the you don't see x squared. That means it's 0 times x squared. And if you say, where is the x? So you can say it's 0 times x, so plus 17. So the unseen terms are here, the x squared and x. They have the coefficient 0. So this coefficient 0. The coefficient, it's the coefficient of x squared. So the coefficient x squared is equal to zero. Okay, let's do the same thing in the. So this is in standard form. So standard form means uh, the powers of x should be decreasing. So it's thousand and then two so it's decreasing it's going down so this is in standard form now let's find the degree the degree is uh, the highest power of x in the polynomial so the degree is thousand and uh, the leading coefficient is the coefficient of the term with the highest degree so x to x to 1000 is the highest degree here and negative 2 is the leading coefficient and uh, the constant term the constant term is the term without x here it's constant term now uh, the coefficient of x squared as you see we have an x squared here so the coefficient of x squared is a positive square 2 so we say the coefficient of Square root two. So these are 